Yeah, man, he doesn't care. Yeah. Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Watch Vinland Saga Blind. Today we are on episode 4, True Warrior, and I guess it's probably going to be the last episode. Tors is in alive. Like, I, I don't think he will make it through this. Um, so, uh, yeah, he's a pacifist. Let's see how many he can take down without taking out his sword and sheathing it. So, uh, we'll see now. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment on what you thought of this. And we will just have probably some very sad moments now. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, he's just mowing them down one by one, and this dude loves it. Oh, man. Oh, God. Holy hell. I love the choreography. He's using something like uh, martial arts here, I think. Might be a real thing, might not be. Yeah, who is he? Like, that's like, he's a bit of a power tier. Oh, he threw him the the ore. That's nice of him. Yes, Bjorn, what are you gonna do? Ooh, Bjorn's very, very mad. He's now in berserker mode, I think. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, berserker mode. Because of the drugs as well, I guess. Yes, Bjorn, let's go! <laughs> um, Bjorn, what the fuck? You're so on drugs, Bjorn! Stop it! Are you done, Bjorn? See? He's a berserker. I know my stuff about this. Like, there are some cool paper on psychology on berserkers. Yeah, that, the problem is you will now not feel a lot of pain and stuff, so... He's also pretty big. At least the arrow guys are not firing at him. Yeah, all with his bare hands. That's really... Also, I think Trolls always used uh, bare hands. Oh yeah, he's still up. Of course he is. Oh, what happened there? Oh, is that the other ship? Yep, it is. Apparently they went to land and yeah. Oh no, they're still on the sea. I, I see, okay. It looked like they were going to land. Well, rip mate. Bjorn, what are you doing? There he is, the hero! Yeah, man, you're gonna... God. I'm so anxious. We're gonna see him probably die. Oh no. They will realize you haven't taken anyone's life yet, so... Yeah, the arrow people. It's because Anakin's not there. Yeah, so it's a bit anime overpowered stuff here. I like that though. Like, let's see how far it goes though. Like how exaggerated are their powers and how, because everything else is like almost completely realistic. Like, you know, so it's interesting. Yeah, you are though. I'm, I am, though, surprised that Life never really had to fight, apparently, because, like, he went into another continent, to another continent. There must have been things on his travels where he had to fight. Like, you can't tell me, he, like, perhaps he didn't have to fight, I don't know. 
正面はざっと三十人。Thirty men. Yeah, that would be the worst case, and his son is there, and that's gonna get him killed. Can't you just like ask him for a one on one or something? <laughs> He can! Okay, good. Get reading Game of Thrones has, uh, yeah, has uh, uh, paid out here. Yeah, he's not gonna honor that, like. He's not an honorable guy. That's also why I think uh, never, never sparing, like being like I would never spare my opponent and stuff. Like sometimes you can't trust them. Like don't assume they're like you. Say because you're the strongest or something, it would be so bad as. Oh, okay, yeah. Son of Olaf. Hmm. Now yeah, what's gonna happen? I mean, he's probably gonna beat him, but he's not gonna uh, fight fair and square. Or is he? Perhaps he is, because he's not all of his archers yet. So he might. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm unsure. The same smell as him. Yeah, he knows. Oh, God, God, kid. Why? Oh, this is making me anxious. You're gonna get killed and it will fuck up your life, mate. Yeah, that's a good question. He probably... Yeah, he doesn't. I mean, that's... Yeah, he can't understand it. Oh, that might have been his death sentence, though. Like if 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 Tors is now like okay in, in case <laughs> I don't know though I think yeah let's see how how far the specifics in, in the end is gonna go. Mm. Is he gonna order the archers to fire now? Nope, he's gonna do some weird shenanigans. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, that was cool. Oh, that's f oh nice man. Axe Vlad or whatever, you are better than I thought. And he got him. That's nice. It's, it's about to scratch, but... Yeah. As I said, too shallow. A worthy opponent, though. That's nice. And they are having fun here. Like, this is the fun that's... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, man. Tremble in fear. Oh, he also probably wants a worthy opponent, so, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's gonna end him, probably. I don't know, though. Ooh, quick strokes, that's cool. And you know the blade is like vibrating or whatever you say because the heads are so big and strong. But is he more nimble though? He's gonna go for your son, mate. No, no, he's like his arms are gonna get tired. He's gonna get fucked in a moment here, I think. Oh, okay, that's even worse, I see. Whose sword broke? Oh, he knew that probably, now he's gonna step. Oh, what's... yeah. Holy shit, man, awesome. Awesome! Yes! That was awesome. But he's not gonna honor anything here, you can't tell me that. But he probably is very content of having found a good opponent, though. Yeah, he's not gonna do that. Hmm, yeah. Peer pressure, so to speak. That's very bad. And, yeah. And you will go after the sun. And such like, that's gonna be the thing I feel. What's he gonna do here? 
because he's bluffing, basically, because he needs not, I don't killed a single person here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's awake again. Is he gonna do something? I mean, they all saw him lose here, so... But he won't admit it. He probably did lead the whole army. I must rely on a sword like this because I'm not yet a master. A master of what? Hmm. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. That's why he uses his fist as well. But that's very romanticized and... God, it's gonna do him in, I think. Hmm, that's a nice offer though. Holy shit, that's actually a pretty nice offer. He's respecting him a lot here, I think. That's interesting. Yeah, no, you weren't, because you realized, no, this is not gonna happen. Yeah. What's that dude done? Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Oh, God. What's gonna happen now? Yeah, they're your fault, man. You're gonna regret that forever, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that's the thing. That's what I said. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, see, he understood him. I don't think... I think he's gonna call his bluff here. Like, he d now has to basically... Like, what's he gonna do here? It's such a fucked up situation. Yeah, man, he doesn't care. Yeah! Yeah, it's like the same thing from, like, the episode with the war games. Like, this is not a game. Like, it's exactly that. You're not in the game that children play. This is war. And you should know. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh. It's me. Yeah. But he said it's me, basically. Yeah. Yep. Is this a death whilst standing moment? No. He's still talking to her, man, what a badass. Artorius, interesting. Wow, okay. So he does that, why? Yeah, man. Oh, wow, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Will he do it, though? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sorry, but that was on him. It's, the, it's exactly this, like, he thought everything was just a game and stuff, man. Now reality comes, friend. And you grow up too... You grow up too early. I do not understand why he honors it, though. Perhaps because you respect them some a bit. Yeah, Ari, why? You, yeah, and like that. Because he's also, yeah, to him. Yeah. Holy shit, man. He's already talking about him. In, oh, yeah, death while standing. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. That's, that sucks so hard, but... 
I don't know. I, I felt like this was like this had to happen. Because the anime was the last four episodes, it was all like this 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 heroic fairy tale like stuff that is just not reality. And because the anime was like historically so close to reality and stuff, and there were scenes of harsh reality, like with the slaves and stuff, this romanticized version that the father had, I knew it was about to shatter in like you know. If there is a Japanese person in the comments, please tell me why standing up, like dying while standing up is such a big deal. Uh, because I've seen it with uh, Yamamoto and Bleach, like he also died standing up and it was very heroic. And I remember when that happened, everyone was like, yeah, that's very heroic. So, yeah, man, and you, you technically, like, did he get his father killed? I do not think it would have ended, ended any other way, actually, so he didn't, but he will think that now. He will think that now. Um, and he now grew up in the most horrid way ever. So sad. But I don't know... I don't know why I'm not, like, very, very emotionally distraught over the death of the father, perhaps because it was so obvious, and also because the the ideals he had they do exactly lead to this in in times like this like if there's war if there's battle and savagery this pacifism that's what you get for it and it's so sad like it is sad but yeah i think he let them go and honored his promise because he talked to him again after being like shot like with 20 arrows and then he realized yeah at least give him that warrior like this. He really is a hero. I should honor him. I think that's... Because I'm, I'm a bit confused. Because he did play dirty. Like, he lost. And then he played dirty. And then suddenly he's honorable. Like, that was a bit... Why? So I guess it was him standing up after the arrows and talking to him again with determination. Um, and I also think the moment where he twitched his eyes, like he st he really thought of him leading them, and then he realized like it was like a dream yet, like a like a daydream, and then it, it disappeared because he was like, yeah, no, this dude, he's in fact not gonna lead us ever because he just used like fist and stuff, and he's not a war like he has got the this pacifism in him. I guess that's what he was going through him, and then he was like, yeah, he can't lead us. This has to end here, and yeah. But I'm curious to 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 hear your thoughts on this scene. It was a sad th scene, but I have to admit, it really just just felt like a character built. Like it felt like that character moment that Torfin just needed, because everything was building up to this, and it was yeah. I don't know. Let's see where this goes now. Yeah, father died. Yeah. Yeah. It's so interesting that he tried to teach his son this, like, that there's, like... That's so tragic, actually. He, he tried to teach his son that letting go of the sword and just fighting with the fist and not killing is an honorable and good way. And his son understood it, like, is now completely confused. And, um... Yeah. And, and, uh... And ironically, I don't know, not even ironically, like, the lesson he took here is that, um, that, that war is terrible. Um, that's not exactly what I think his father wanted, so. Yeah, what are you gonna think now? Yes, he did. Because it's not a game. It's a scale model of war. Every war ever fought. Yeah, but he's gonna go on a very dark path now, I feel. Or he will understand it on his journeys. I don't know. Might be both. Oh, now you're joking. You got beaten, man. What is... What is he looking at? Yeah. Yeah, he's shook by that, I think. He's probably like, guys, what the fuck? 
So is he alone on that ship? Oh my god, yeah, this is what I expect from him. Oh god, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's so interesting that they, I mean, of course they don't care for the child here. It's like war, so to speak, or piracy, but... Yeah, you dickhead. He would have been so dead if that man, like, did everything he could. Yeah. That's a very dark path to go down, man. But I get him. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, yeah, the look in his eyes is very, very terrible. No, I don't think, yeah. No, I don't think he will die soon because he's the main <laughs> Yeah, but... And that as well, he's ju he's not just a kid anymore. He, gr he just grew up and his growing up wasn't pleasant and now he's gonna come for you. So like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. It's so sad, man. Yeah. Yeah, I guess now it really starts. Um, uh, yeah. That was cool. Like, that was a very good episode. I have to say, though, it was... Um, emotionally didn't t get me, really. Because it was too telegraphed, everything. Um... And because of all the silence of the dead, I did not have the feeling that I got to know him enough to think he's a real person and not a character in a story. Um, I, I, I think, I have to be honest there. Um, because he was always so stoic and stuff and he didn't talk much. Like, there were several scenes in the past episodes where I was like, I need more from you here. What are you? Who are you? What person are you? And I didn't get it. Uh, I hope we will discover that, like, perhaps we will uh, discover it when we go through the show and people have, like, will tell him about how his father was and stuff. Because clearly his arc is hopefully gonna deal with um, the killing stuff, the pacifist stuff. Hopefully how revenge can, like, drive you mad AF. So, um, I really like this writing choice for the for Thorfinn. Because I love the like dealing with growing up in the in the harsh way because the world is a cruel place that's so terrifying. And it happens to children nowadays and that's so horrific. Um Yeah. As I said, I did not fully uh, uh, understand Askeladd's deal, why he did honor his promise after he did not honor his promise of a one on one duel. Um so I don't know. You hope you will probably be able to un uh, tell me that. Anyway, hope you liked this reaction. If you did, consider liking, subscribing as always. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Uh, see you soon. Bye.